Hi, good day. I would like to introduce myself. I'm Jose the 30 Fernandez, a second year student in UC MTC, Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation. Now, in this video, I would like to present a short reflection of mine about our subject in marine environment based on our question provided. So what is marine environment? Marine environment means the physical, atmospheric, and biological components, condition, and factor that interactively determine the productivity, state, condition, and quality of marine ecosystem. So, marine environment means the sea, coast, beach, seabed, water masses, and environmental resources. What are the major sources of marine pollution and its impact hazard to human animals and shipping industry? So what is marine pollution? Marine pollution occurs when harmful effects result from the entry into the ocean of chemicals, particles, industrial, agricultural, and residual waste, noise, or the spread of invasive organisms. 80% of marine pollution comes from land, and air pollution is also a contributing factor by carrying off iron, carbonic acid, nitrogen, silicon, sulfur, pestidisol, dust particles in the ocean. Land and air pollution have proven to be harmful to marine life and its habitats. Main sources of marine pollution. So these are the sources of marine pollution. So next is the impact of the marine pollution. So the impact of marine pollution can cause the healthy of the human and also the living creatures. The habitat of the living creature also can destroy because of the pollution. Next, Marple Convention. So what is Marple Convention? Marple Convention is the main international convention aimed at the prevention of pollution from ships caused by oper operational or accidental causes. The International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships in 1973 as modified by the Protocol of 1978. Marple 73 or 78, Marple is short for International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships and 73 to 78, short for the years 1973 and 1978. It's one of the most important international marine environmental conventions. It was developed by the International Marine Time Organization with an objective to minimize pollution of the oceans and seas including dumping, oil, and air pollution. The original Marple was signed on 17 February 1973, but did not come into force at the signing date. The current convention is a combination of 1973 convention and the 1978 protocol, which in turn into force on 2 October 1983. As of January 2018, 156 states are parties to the convention, being flag states of 99.42% of the world. Shipping tonnage. All ships flagged under countries that are signatories to Marple are subject to its requirements, regardless of where they sell and member nations are responsible for vessels registered on their national ship registry. So, so Marple Convention is all about the law of the 
pollution of our ocean. So next, the Marpol Annex 1. Regulation for the prevention of pollution by Owell entered into force to October 1983. Covers prevention of pollution by Owell from operational measures as well as from accidental discharges, the 1992 amendments to Annex 1 made it mandatory for new oil tankers to have double house and brought in a phase in schedule for existing tankers to fit double house, which was subsequently revised in 2001 and 2003. Annex 1 is all about the prevention of pollution by oil, carrying by the ships. We need to prevent the spreading of the oil so that the habitats of the fishes will not destroy. Annex 2. Regulation for the control of pollution by noxious liquid substance in bulk entered into force 2 October 1983. Details the discharge criteria and measures for the control of pollution by noxious liquid substance carried in bulk. Some 250 substances were evaluated and included in the list appended to the convention. The discharge of their residues is allowed only to reception facilities until the certain concentrations and conditions, which vary with the category of substance, are complied with. In any case, no discharge of residues containing noxious substance is permitted within 12 miles of the nearest land. Annex 2 is all about the poisonous liquid that carry by the bulk area. Next is Annex 3, Prevention of Pollution by Harmful Substance Carried by Sea in Package Form Entered into 1st 1 July 1992 Contains general requirements for the issuing of detailed standards on packing, marking, labeling, documentation, storage, quantity limitation, exceptions, and notifications. For the purpose of this Annex, Harmful Substance are those substances which are identified as marine pollutants. In the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code, for which meet the criteria in the appendix of Annex 3. Annex 4. Prevention of Pollution by Sewage from Ships Entered into force 27 September 2003. Contains requirements to control pollution of the sea by sewage. The discharge of sewage into the sea is prohibited, except when the ship has in operation an approved sewage treatment plant or when the ship is discharging combinated and disinfected sewage using an approved system at a distance of more than 3 nautical miles from the nearest land. Sewage which is not combinated or disinfected has to be charged at a distance of more than 12 nautical miles from the nearest land. Next, Annex 5. Prevention of pollution by garbage from ships entered into force 31 December 1988. Deals with different types of garbage and specifies the distance from land and manner in which they may dispose of the most important feature of the Annex is complete ban imposed on the disposal into the sea of all forms of plastic. Lastly, Annex is Annex 6. Prevention of air pollution from ships entered into force 19 May 2005. Six limits on sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide emissions from ship its host and prohibits deliberate emissions of ozone depleting substance. Designated emissions control area seat more stringent standards for sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide particulate matter. A chapter adopted in 2011 covers mandatory technical and operational energy efficiency measures aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions from ships. So this is the end of my presentation. Again, I'm Seda Terti Fernandez. 
Thank you for watching.